Okay, so uh, let's now move on to the second method, which is the method of false position, which is also called the regular fallacy. So regular fallacy, false position, we are using the same thing. Sorry, uh, regular fallacy. So the regular fallacy is derived from the linear approximation or the linear interpolation in between the two points of our interval. So what does that mean? Let's say you have uh, an interval of xl and xu. So this is your xl and this is your xu. So to find a new uh, approximate solution, instead of having this two, no, so kung hanapin natin yung midpoint for bisection, we will try to find the line that connects the two functions. No? We will find the line that connects these two functions. So we will find the equation of the line and then substitute the y is equal to zero to find the intercept of this line. So basically, we will find the line that connects these two and then find the intercept of that line with respect to the x-axis. No? And then, we can do this repeatedly. So after solving for this, Okay, if we can see that it's your new uh, new approximate solution, then it will get closer and closer to the solution. So a visualization of that, you know, so we have this first uh, uh, approximation, this will be your new, and then it will get closer and closer to your solution as you do more iterations. Yeah. Okay. It is that simple. So, Create a line, find the intercept. So a new function, okay, if this is negative, replace this one. So we keep replace we keep, we keep on replacing this one until we approach this value. So actually uh in regular policy method, usually if you have uh XM, no, our approximate solution XM, you will usually replace only one table no, or one column of the table in uh frequently with 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 uh uh usually ganun yung nangyayari ano yeah let's move on to uh an example no an example of the representation of the problem of the regular fallacy method so how successful is a uh, regular fallacy in finding the solution it usually depends on the function if the function is highly nonlinear or at a higher degree exponential function, no, it will uh, approach to the solution slower than uh, no. If but if it is linear, no, the, the, it is, or the the function is close to a line, so quadratic cubic, it will approach to uh, the solution faster. So let's say we have a given interval of zero and one point three. And we want to define the solution of this function. Uh, where's that? Where's uh, where's, the, where's the function? Okay, so the function here. Why is it not given? Okay, sorry, I do not have the function, but uh, I think the function is something like this. Is equal to zero, no? Something like this. So your 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 solution will be taking it will take long no but if we do this analytically this will be just uh, 10 root of one which is equal to one which is the solution but anyways if this is your your uh problem and you will utilize regular policy it will take you a long longer time once again so comparing the efficiency of utilizing the bisection method no so bisection method for this first table and for regular policy for the second table as we can see here with regards to their uh, true error or relative true error, the bisection method will be much faster no, in, uh, in approximating the solution. Comparing this to the false, false, uh, false position or the regular fallacy, it, uh, it, they, it converges slowly to the solution. No? So for a new method, we already have uh, a downside. No? Again, so let's have another example or a new example for false position. So how do we do this now? Okay, so we have a given. So the formula for solving that uh, using false position. So take note of this. 
we have xr that is equal to xu minus f of xu and then we have xu minus xl and then we have f of xu minus f of xl okay so you have this formula to find for the approximate uh, solution now for xu and xl how do we find for xu and xl so xu basically is the upper xl is the lower or not really the graphical upper no or the graphical lower when we mean by xl it is the left portion of the x no and then xu will be the right portion of the x so this will be our xl 3 and xu will be your 4 okay and then 4 okay i think that will be all no and then to tabulate the solution we have the iteration counter and then uh, we have xu xl we have the xu and then we have the xr Ayan. okay and then we have the approximate or relative approximate error so we have this uh we have to also complete for this so for the first iteration we have a given initial condition or initial approximation of three and four and then to find xr how do we find xr now okay so ganito, no? so let's just utilize our calculators and let's change the variables here so let's make this x uh, let's make this xl into a let's make this uh xu into b so therefore also now we can also utilize this one we change this one so we know that f of x is equal to this so therefore your x are here will become okay so let's change this up as well we have b okay we will change the variables and then f of x u is uh we have a b to the fifth power minus 10 b to the uh third power plus b minus 20 so as you can see here we just change this one as f of x no and then substituting this x u which is also your b okay and then multiplying this by x u minus x l which is b minus a okay sorry nag overlap na no i think nag overlap na siya dito and then over we have f of x u minus f of x l so we have f of x u so the function in terms of x u evaluated at, at x u uh, sorry and then plus b minus 20 minus uh, a raised to the fifth power minus 10 a raised to the third power plus a minus 20 Ayan. okay so this will be your your formula no, that you will utilize for your uh what do you call this for your calculators yeah, let's just do this now anyways let's do this right away okay so we have here a function we have alpha b alpha b minus alpha b okay parenthesis pala muna no? alpha b is the fifth power minus 10 alpha b cube and then plus alpha b minus 20 and then we have alpha b minus alpha a okay and then we have uh, alpha b okay so the fifth power minus 10 alpha b cube plus b minus 20 okay actually uh this will make things easier if you do this no instead of calculating this one by one it will take you maybe one uh 30 minutes not to finish this one if you will not follow uh, my calculator technique no so let's just do this fast instead of 30 minutes maybe uh, five minutes or 10 minutes only okay uh, a, uh cube and then plus alpha a minus twenty. Oh, so calculate this again x u is equal to b so x u will be 4 and then x l will be a so a is equal to 3 so our new approximation will be 3 point so i will just utilize three significant figures guys but uh, it depends on you if 
if you want to include uh we can do the four decimal places if you want but i will just utilize four significance figures since seven yeah. and then for the approximate error since it's the first approximation we don't have the first one okay so for the next iteration how do we do this so we have to also actually determine this, the sign no also for our xl for our xl and xu so we have to change the sign sorry we have to write here what is the sign of xl and xu so we will have to write as well the function so uh we have x no x to the fifth power minus uh 10 alpha x cube and then uh, plus alpha x and then cut so substitute this 3.107 so the answer should be negative so this is negative no but uh anyways we have it calculated xl and x so calculate xl so three so we have negative here and then this one is so for four it will be positive so therefore we have to replace the three so this will become 3.107 and then retain the 4. Okay, so for the next approximation, we will just utilize this uh, previous. No? So recall no? your previous computation and then do the equal sign or sorry, the calcs, the calc function and then substitute again the B. So the B here again is the upper. So 4 and then the lower will be, will be 3.107. So the new approximation will be 3.169. So 3.169. So the sign of this is what? So let's see. So again, go back here. So uh, substitute the value 3.169. So the function, so this will become. Okay, but why wait, some wait. positive? Uh wait, 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 wait. Why did it become positive? So it became positive, right? Okay, it became positive. Okay, sorry. Uh, I think I messed something up. So calc 3.3.169. Oh. Ah, minus 20. Oh, I, I did something wrong, guys. Sorry, sorry. I forgot the 20. So uh, let's go back again now. So let's subject 3. Okay, maybe the 44. Okay, I'll just uh, write this down. That we will not uh, forget. It will not overwrite. Okay, okay. So alpha x again raised to the fifth power. We forget the negative range. Okay, so yeah. maybe I'm feeling sleepy. So alpha x cube. Uh, sorry, x cube and then plus alpha x. Sorry, alpha x plus alpha x minus 20 and then cut 4. Okay, and then 3.169. So this is negative. So if this is negative, again, we have to replace this one. So we have 3.169 here and then for the 33. Sure. But before we continue, we have to first find the approximate error. So let's tabulate also the approximate error. So for the approximate error, we have. So I will just write here D and C. So D minus C over D times 100%. And so D here is equal to the pre, uh, present and the. Uh, sorry, the present. The C here will be the previous. Okay. So we have uh, to write again a new calculation so d minus alpha c over alpha d times 100 so calculator we have 3.169 uh, and then so we have 1.95956 uh, this is pretty large no so anyways three uh we have one point 9.56 okay so let's move on to the next one so moving on to the next one uh so yeah we have here four 
and then calculate again the new approximation using this. So x is 4, xl is 3.169. So the answer is 3.203.203. So let's again substitute this to our function. So 3.203, positive or negative. So this is, this is still negative. So as you can see here, it will always be negative. So this will be 3.203. .203. If we continue this again, so 4, approximate error, calculate approximate error. So help, we have uh, 203, 3.169. So the answer should be 1.6065. Um, 1.0. Uh, six Two, no and then for the next one where is it uh, again and so substitute the x u and x l so four three point uh, two zero three so the answer is three point two two three point two two one so the sign again uh calculate the sign using the function three point two two one negative again so we have to replace this again 3.21 and then calculate the approximate error to calculate this we have 3.21 and we have 3.203 so we have here 0 0.558.5588 and then move on to the next one Okay, uh, where is it? Yeah, fifth iteration four. So we utilize again this equation. So up four. I think you're getting the point at this point, no? Yeah, let's finish this anyway. Three point two two one. So then your approximation three point two thirty. Three point two thirty. So the sign. So it seems that it should be uh negative again. Three point two thirty. So negative again so replace this okay and then go back so go back using the relative approximate error so 3.23 3 3.2121 so the answer is 0 0.2 uh seven eight six oh so it has crash um, so it crashed i have to write this one again anyways yeah my crash pa. so we have alpha d is Okay, so let's write this down again. Yeah, I'll do this again, huh? So with AC, we have uh, alpha B minus B, then alpha B. And it's 10 alpha B. Okay, Q plus B minus 20. And then uh, minus alpha A minus 10 alpha A. Q uh, plus alpha A minus 20. Okay, so again. Let's try doing this again. No? Let's check the 4 and 3. 4 and 3. Okay, we did it again. So let's do this again. We have uh, 4. So it's here 4 and 3.23. So 4 and 3.23. 
So the new approximation 3.236. Okay, we are almost at our stopping criterion. Ano? So when it is no, uh, less than or equal to 10% or 0.10%. Okay, so okay, let's utilize again. Yes, so up 3.236. 3.23 okay so we have 0 0.18 0 0.18 by 4 negative okay and then uh so since it's like i think this will be negative now i won't do this anymore so, yeah let's solve this again uh, we have 3. Uh, 236 and then 4. So let's solve this again. We have 3.236. And sorry, it should be 4 first. 4 and 3.236. So 3.238. 3.238. I think at this point, we can terminate. So we are almost at our terminating point. So go back out. 3.238. 3.236. So we have 0 0.06. 0 0.06. 177. So we are already less than or equal to 10. 0. Point, uh, 10 percent. Therefore, uh, this will be your approximate. No, it will be the final answer. Okay. So uh, let's have last uh, example. So for the last example, uh, approximate the value of square root of 2 using regular fancy NPL. The approximate, approximate error is less than or equal to 0.20%. Okay, so how do we do this? We using a calculator, you can just do this. Now square root of 2 is equal to 1.1. Blah, blah, blah. So how do we do this using numerical methods? No? in uh, an interesting way so we know that x now our solution for x is actually square root of 2 but if we square this both sides we can create a new equation which is x squared is equal to 2 or in other words now we could distribute sorry we could transpose uh, this 2 to the other side to create a quadratic function which is x squared minus 2 is equal to 0 which would be our f of x no? is equal to 0 so basically, we can find the root of this using either bisection or regular policy. So using regular policy, we can tabulate this again. Let's tabulate this. We have the iteration counter. We have the XU. We have the XL. We have the XR. And then the approximate error. So for the initial uh, guesses, no, we can utilize the in incremental no? incremental search methods yeah let's try the incremental search method again so mode 7 alpha x squared minus 2 and then uh, i'll just start from negative 9 to 9 with a step of 1 so, so you can see here the f of x will change you know signs at uh at x is equal to negative 2 and 1 and also at 1 and 2. Okay, so I'm only interested with, actually you have two solutions here, positive and negative, no? So I will just compute for the positive one. So I will just utilize here in between 1 and 2. Okay, so the interval here will be 1 and 2 since during the incremental search method, 1 and 2 in a billion at it. So now the result for XR, so again, we have the formula now, so xr is equal to xu minus f of xu. We have xu minus xl, uh, xl over f of xu minus uh, f of xl. So I will just utilize again the formula wherein b and a are xl and xu. So this will be equal to b minus, uh, we have b squared minus 2 multiplied by b minus a over we have b squared minus 2 minus uh, a squared minus 2 or actually we can simplify this right 
So negative 2 minus 2, so this will become, then we can simplify this xr is equal to b minus b squared minus 2, and then b minus a, or actually, let's see, over b squared minus a squared, no? We actually simplify this. If you want, you can, do, you can utilize this or utilize this one. So for me, I can just utilize this. Okay. So it will yield the same answer. So let's just do this again. Yeah. So we have uh, mode 1. So back to mode 1. So we have alpha b minus, uh, we have alpha b squared. So quantity pala, no? Quantity alpha b squared minus uh, 2. Alpha b minus uh, a. Close it. So you put 1 but a. Close it and then open again. Uh, so you have only alpha b squared. Since the constant will cancel. So calc, we have uh, the, the upper which is 2. The lower which is 1. So the answer is 1.33. You know? So 1.33. 1.333 now we do not have yet an approximate error so now let's substitute the function or evaluate the function at 1.33 so we have alpha x squared we alpha x squared alpha x squared minus 2 and then up 1.333 so the sign is negative so if this is negative your function let's see what are the values uh, at 1 and 2 your function so this is negative therefore the other one should be positive no here actually using incremental search method you already know the function effects no uh, i just did not write or i did not throw that down but so since this is negative this will become 1.333 so the iteration counter will be two and then uh repeat the two here and then let's compute again for the new approximate value using regular fancy so the same equation so 2 again and then 1.333 so we have 1.399 so essentially 1.4 no? 1.4 so this is negative oh, sorry not uh we don't know that with this negative so we just have to do again the value so 1.4 uh we assume that this will become negative no? but usually it will become negative if the first one is negative, it will become negative. If it's positive, it will always be positive. If using regular policy, you know, if only using the if you're only using regular policy and the function is a polynomial curve, no, with one root in between the intervals. Okay, so again, uh, moving on, let's find the approximate error. So again, we have alpha d minus. Okay, so write this down. 12 times 100 and then out. Oh, so we have 1.4, 1.33. Okay, so the answer is 4.79. 4.79%. And then for the next one, since it's negative, again, this will be 1.4. Reiteration, repeat this. Find the new approximation. Okay, out. Oh, so we have 2, 1.4, the approximation 1.412, 1.412. So the, the sign of this, so it should be negative, 1.412. Uh, oh, well, 1.412, is that right? Okay, let me check this again. Sorry. Uh, you might be feeling dizzy. I 412, okay, 412. Okay, so the, the 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 approximate error four point seven eight. Sorry, not the one point one two. We have one point three three three. One point three three uh, three percent. And then moving on to the next one. So the sign. Sorry, we didn't figure the sign. Forgot the sign. This is negative. Negative. So 1.412. And then 4. And then 2. So continue. So for the new approximate. 
it is tiring to do this, no? So, can see. so that is why we have computers to solve for this one. Although, of course, it is important to learn the algorithm. 414. And then the approximate error. So, approximate error. 1.412. Okay, so 14%. So this will be the terminating, right? 0 0.14. Uh, let's look at this. 14, 14%. So since this is less than 0 0.20%, therefore this will be your answer now. So this will be your x tilde. Sorry. Your x tilde. Okay, so I hope this is clear and thank you guys for listening. I'll see you guys again in class.